Welcome back to the CTAM Podcast, where I invite on Seattle area business owners, entrepreneurs, and community personalities to share their stories with us. This week's guest on the CTAM Podcast is Christina and Natalie, the founders of Baked Custom Cakes in the West Seattle Admiral District. They talk about their journey together in starting this business, their commitment to unique and artistic cake creation, and their unique experience being on the first season of the Food Network's Cake Wars, not to mention winning it. Needless to say, they are very good at what they do, and they're great gals just to be able to sit down with and chat about business, life, and baking. Enjoy this week's interview. Well, thank you, uh, Christina and Natalie, for joining me today uh, on the podcast. So uh, if you wouldn't mind just telling me a little bit about your guys' story, how you started, a little bit about what you do, you know, what what got you into, into baking cakes. Go for it. Um, Well, I mean, we had met, both of us, uh, just baking around the city and a couple different bakeries um, and kind of ultimately passion for cake wise kind of came out of just kind of getting into doing them for friends and family uh, noticing that we both kind of had a knack for it there's not a ton of um, cake opportunities in the city for sure it's kind of one of those when positions we started where at least. Yeah, yeah when we started yeah. at least one of those positions that you know when you tend to got or tend to get one people stayed for quite some time so we just kind of started doing them on our own, and then we met at a local restaurant in West Seattle here. I was kind of on my way out, and she was coming in, and we kind of both started chatting and thought, you know, cakes came up, and we were like, oh, I love to do those too. And then we kind of just said, well, let's go for it and do it. Yeah. <laughs> and we did. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. And you guys have been in business for about, about five, six, six seven years this year. Yeah. Seven yeah. years. Okay, yeah, that's so. great. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so maybe so obviously you bake you bake cakes. Maybe you can describe in a little more detail kind of what you what you offer and you know the type of clients that you tend to see walk through your doors. Uh, well, I mean everything we do. We're so we're more like a cake studio. We're not a retail space. Um, we do everything custom, baked to order. So designs are all different. There's not usually one like single design that we do over and over. We try and make every cake different, um, and we bake everything from scratch. So we don't use any mixes, all fresh local ingredients. That's great. Yeah. Now it sounds like uh, with kind of having a custom approach that there'd be a, a high, uh, high degree of artistry in it. Does everyone do everything, or is there kind of specialties as far as the different stages of building, making a cake? Or? There's definitely specialties that we all have. You know, individually, Christina likes to do lots of. Um, 3D elements, you know, lots of little sculpted cake. things. It looks like other foods. Yeah, <laughs> I particularly like to paint things and, and stuff like that. Um, as far as, I guess ultimately a lot of our girls are cross-trained in that way though, to be able to float from like kitchen to up front to decorating cakes to designing them. Um, but as far as like actual, our quote unquote like decorators go, we can all pretty much, you know. Jump in. Yeah, jump in and take over and, and yeah. go, yeah. But we do have a baker, and we have someone that that solely like fills and frost cakes. But we like to we like to change it up and have everybody do um, at least a little bit of everything. So okay. a yeah, bit more artistic. Okay. How approaches. much of what you do is you know like you go to school for it or self talks Well, when we went to culinary school, there was not a lot of actual decorating programs that got in depth. There was very like minimal, basic oh, training. Yeah. Um, Now there's a lot more. There's a lot more, um, like, video tutorials online, so... Specialized classes, like sugar flowers, stuff like that. I mean, they had them back in the day, but they were pricey. Yeah, but I mean, I think so. A lot of it, school is important, and definitely for the fundamentals, you know, especially with baking and stuff like that. But as far as decorating, I feel like a lot of it is we've taught ourselves or just practicing, experimenting. Um, But, yeah, there's definitely a lot better resources now I'd say in the last like five years um, and just learning from each other everybody here has a different background and experience so we're always learning you know as long as long as any of us have been doing this we learn something new every day sure. mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> and my uh, my wife went to culinary school as a chef for a number of years and, oh, nice. uh, she's always you know impressed with you know the, the baking side of things you know she says you know Cooking is largely an art, while baking is definitely you know, a science. It's too. a science, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's not a lot of wiggle room with yeah. certain yeah. things, or you have to know yeah. what you're doing in order to have that wiggle room for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. It's not like, oh, we'll leave out a little baking soda and maybe yeah. toss in a little, <laughs> yeah. you know, vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you love most about, about your business? 
Um, I think that mainly just uh, that it's different, like the designs that we do, coming up with different designs. Um, like I said, there's no single one thing that we do over and over again. Um, and just, uh, yeah, every, every week's different as far as uh, coming together and, and designing cakes. So it doesn't, doesn't get too, too tedious, too boring, enough challenge? No. no. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's definitely plenty I mean. of challenge. And I mean, you know, we do have those occasional cakes that we do similar designs, but we try to make, you know, every cake unique as yeah. far as changing it up a little. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What would you say your, your greatest challenge that you face in business right now is? Um, right now? Growing pains. Yeah. Yeah, just we've, we've hired um, about four people in the last year and a half. Um, so just trying to, get, like, getting everybody in sync and getting trained. And for the most part, everyone um, works really well together. It's just, you know, just, just cross-training and just getting everybody on the same page. So, and constantly having to keep, uh, you know, keep track of that and make sure everyone's on the right track. Right. <laughs> Not just the two of us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when did you hire your, kind of outside of you guys, your first employee? Probably the third year. Three years, yeah. Yeah. Three years ago, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had about one, we started with one, two people for a while, and then just, like, we just had a huge growing spurt um, as far as business in the last couple of years, so, right. yeah. Okay. Now, you guys kind of alluded to, when you first started, there wasn't uh, baking cakes and stuff, wasn't as, there wasn't as many people doing stuff it seems like there's there's more competition now what would you say that you guys do that sets yourselves apart as a, a cake you know, bakery I would probably say like really getting other people's ideas across like we get some pretty bizarre you know requests like personal that are personal to them you know be it um, I used to have this bear that I would take. I mean, like really, really personal stories, and then somehow translating that onto cakes. I feel like we that, have a way that is of cohesive right. and looks good, not right. just throwing like a bunch the bear. Of stuff. But like really, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> with doing a beer it. can on a boat, right? And a, Riding yeah. a camel. I mean, like just the most outrageous requests, and I feel like it would kind of like some bakeries might be a little bit like, ah, I don't even know where to go with that. But I feel like that's kind of one of our strong suits is really tying yeah. in these what and could I think, be crazy designs. Yeah, and just kind of having like a real <clears throat> kind of funky outlook on your, you know, fresh look on on designs and not being so like, you know, this this refined bakery that does these, you know, just pretty cakes. Like, I mean, we do everything. The only thing we don't do is the um, is the uh, like the erotic bakery used to do? We don't we don't get into that that side of the cake making. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can yeah. only do so many. Yeah, yeah. then sure. you're like, that's then they're not, done that's, that. That's not what we have yeah. interest in. Sure. So, but but in for the Ooh. most part, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. What? Uh, so, are either of you from Seattle or? Not originally, but I've been here for probably longer than she has, for sure. Yeah, I, I'm originally from Florida, um, and uh, spent some time in Texas, and then was in the Coast Guard, and got stationed up here and never left. And gotcha. hence the, uh, the the cooking on the the cutters. Up yeah, on the yep, on the icebreakers. Yep, yeah, ice breakers, yeah. So, um, what what brought both of you to Seattle? The Coast Guard for me. Okay. Yeah. My, it was my family. We moved, yeah, from California when I was pretty young and then um, to a little smaller town outside of Seattle. And then ultimately it was culinary school that kind of brought me in the city when I was uh, 20 and, yeah, stayed ever since. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. uh, what, you guys can obviously take turns answering this because it's probably not the same for both of you, but <laughs> what, what does the first 90 minutes of your day look like? It's actually pretty similar. Oh, yeah, yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> as far as coming in. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, just uh, kind of organizing orders, getting design yeah. ideas together, making sure everybody's good. Um, you know, it's a constant with the week changing with orders. It's a constant checking in with everybody, um, team, you know, making sure everybody um, is good as far as the workload that they have. It's ever so changing. So a lot of it's just that kind of getting organized each day because every day is different, even sure. from the day before. So. When you first started your business six years ago, what was the biggest challenge for you guys? Um, I would say probably um, just finding a space that would work for us. You know, we started out, it was just the two of us, and we didn't want to go, you know, the route of taking out a giant loan to get a space and, like, do the build-outs and stuff. So it was just a matter of, you know, we tried commercial kitchens, 
which was great to get us out there, but it's hard, you know, when you have a delicate, pretty cake in a fridge, and then you've got people ripping in with, you know, chicken just, stock yeah, sharing, and stuff like that. It the just made it. Company, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that was done. And there's not, there wasn't many to choose from. That. So it was like with the budget that we wanted to stay within, but it was definitely, yeah, starting small and working up was, sure. was definitely our best decision. Yeah. So finding a space that would like work with that right. and yeah. still like give us the ability to grow if we wanted to. Right. Um, and then we kind of randomly fell into this place and shared it for a while and kind of ended up taking over it, but it's been awesome. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is a great location. Yeah. Right in the Angle District. I mean, how, how do you guys present. get into this space? We were just looking, uh, we were looking around and, uh, we, there were another small business owner had told us um, about it that was working in here and we just inquired about it and luckily they were looking the couple that was in here was looking for um, some people to share with and it was fully built out for what we needed because um, it was a former like bakery pastry shop um, so yeah kind of with what we were looking for location wise too was great um, yeah. yeah what would you say is your greatest strength I think working together, like mm -hmm. we've both just, even before we had employees, like we just always had a very natural chemistry in the kitchen. That was, I mean, um, you know, we have very different um, likes uh, or, you know, as far as things in common, you know, we, we had a couple things in common, but we were very different from each other. Um, but that was one thing from the very start of it that we always just had a natural chemistry, just reading each other in the kitchen, working efficiently. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and as you can imagine, like starting a business with a partner, it's like a marriage. Yeah. You spend a lot right. of time together. We <laughs> totally. saw each other probably more than our husbands. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> what What would you say you're passionate about? Uh, well, cakes, <laughs> obviously. Um, Designing. I think, yeah, them. I was gonna say yeah. design's probably the coolest part of our, I would yeah, yeah, our job. I kind of. I I think the biggest thing for both of us too is just like being a part of people's celebrations like be, you know such an impactful time whether it be a birthday or a wedding or a baby shower yeah I think that yeah I think just coming up with something for them is is probably the biggest biggest thing yeah <clears throat> I'd agree me. so on your uh, on the website you mentioned that you guys are both foodies enjoy traveling how does that uh, manifest itself in your guys lives you, you guys don't love traveling you try to go very carefully during off season. Okay. How do you mean hot with, wedding with that, season? Like with having our business, mm -hmm. like doing. Or, yeah, I mean I guess personal not. business, you know, whatever. But I mean, if, uh, like I, I became a foodie by default. You know, when I married my my wife, mm. I didn't know what that was until. Oh, okay, I, I see. Her, you know, so I mean, yeah. Just kind of how's that that played out in your life? Whether that's here, or it's traveling, or. I mean, for me, it was just like coming from a Sicilian family. Like food was the biggest part of everything. So I think just just having that that bringing up um uh being in the kitchen with my grandmother sure. kind of started on and never left so even at a young age I was I was ready to go to culinary school before I had even started school <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean uh, yeah about the same I do like cooking shows in my kitchen when I was like seven you know and just wanted easy, knew we it. both had easy big easy ovens, ovens. Yeah, for <laughs> sure um, but you just notice, I mean, I feel like when I travel, that's, I, I, you just notice food more, you know, you're just more aware to things and wanting to try new stuff and yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and Seattle is awesome for it too, because there's just, I mean, there's new restaurants every day and we've got some, you know, super talented, uh, chefs in this, in this city and yeah, it's yeah. just always been what I, yeah, love food <laughs> i know it's weird to me to think people that aren't Don't. foodies like my husband is not the biggest i mean his his extent is a philly cheesesteak so philly. he's from philly yeah, though, so, yeah. That's, that's a too. yeah. oh yeah. yeah it is totally <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah yeah um so you mentioned you know enjoying watching cooking shows and stuff uh do you guys have any affiliation with one? Have you been on one before? <laughs> we frequented an episode of Cake Wars, perhaps. Um, yeah, we just uh, last, God, yeah, it's July. been a year already. Yep. Um, or going to be a year. July, we uh, competed on the Food Network, their first first season okay. of Cake Wars. Um, and Similar took to it. Cupcake Wars, yeah. except with cakes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Took home the grand prize and... Yep. $10,000. Yeah, $10,000. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did that... Uh, 
I mean, I assume business was going well before then. Did that make a big difference? In I think so. Exposure? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was hard to tell just because we were right smack in the middle of wedding season. Sure. Um, but I definitely noticed a, a change or a difference as far as people either finding us through that or yeah. word of mouth or just yeah, just seeing it online. Sure. So, yeah. Exposure was, in general, yeah. yeah. Social media. But it was just it was a cool experience anyway. But I mean, the fact that we won was. Icing on the cake. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, that's awesome. I mean, I don't want to take a, a lot of time on it, but can you kind of tell us about what, what the experience was like? You know, I mean, reality television stuff. I mean, is it super stressful? Yeah. I mean, the way it's depicted is that <laughs> kind of how it happens, or is there a lot of behind no. the scenes stuff? Well, like, well. I mean, yes. yes. <laughs> it's so real. Everything's a hundred percent. You're supposed to exist. say yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> it is. Yeah. There's obviously, you know, you can just tell, I mean, they feed off of the drama and sure. stuff for sure, but yeah, yeah, it was definitely an intense experience with, I mean, the amount of cameras that were involved and they were consistently, like, you know, each I would just go, 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 go. Like, had we just a did not have, I mean, we literally yeah. had like 15 minutes to eat and get back and, and go. go and, and they're was, asking you questions the whole time. And Natalie was seven and a half it. months pregnant yeah. doing this well, too. Well, sure, so. that didn't add a challenge to it. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> and we still won. Yeah. <laughs> still cooking my feet. Yeah, yeah. So it was definitely, yeah. It was as, it's it's as crazy if not crazier as it looks. Yeah. On TV. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. From the mountain, like the minute you land, it's just like whisked off tried, doing it. Uh, no. No, 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 no. It's, it's real. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> we, too crazy. We looked a lot less crazy than we thought we did. So yeah. that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was a bonus. Yeah. That's, that's fun. That was a really cool experience. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely it was definitely cool. Yeah. Sure. So we're kind of moving into uh, the next section of our our interview. Would you mind taking us to kind of into the story of maybe your worst entrepreneurial moments, you know, uh, when things didn't go quite as planned? I think when we were in transition of taking the space over mm -hmm. from the people we were um, sharing with, um, that was probably difficult, um, just coming to an agreement, not knowing if we were going to have a space, um, having so many cakes booked, um, so that was stressful. Without getting into too many details, I'd probably say that. Was, yeah, that was the worst. Yeah. So obviously, there's challenges. You know, when you own your own business. You now maybe take us to a time when, when you're you know really kind of uh, firing on all cylinders and you kind of step back and take a look and say, you know, wow, we're really, really doing great, really making a difference here. Would you mind telling me a little bit about uh, time like that? Um, I think that a lot of like the time we're so yeah we're in here we're kind of in this box and we don't really realize what's going on outside and I think just getting out to events talking to people for tasting events and then just oh I heard about you guys or you know um, people coming back each year for you know their kids birthdays or starting with their wedding and then the baby shower and then first birthday second birthday kind of I think I think that's kind of the wow almost. yeah is just be, you know seeing the kids grow up through cakes and just having that like relationship with people, um, yeah. you know, not so just like here's your cake, see you later. Right, right. <laughs> you know, it's like we get the whole experience. Of, oh yeah, sure. and just have I mean, we have one little girl that it's her third birthday that we've done, and she has this mousse, the stuffed mousse that she has had in every single cake design. Really? And her name is Joan, and yeah. it's her best friend. And Joan so that mousse. part is really cool, just to get to know like the backstories of it, and not yeah. just be like. I want a cake that says happy birthday, you know, with the flower on it. It's not only just like designing the cakes, but just like building those relationships too. That's, yep. that's important. Yeah. And how many people really do like know who we are still trips me out. You yeah. know, I've been to parties that aren't even affiliated with, you know, baked or an industry night or whatever. And they're like, Oh, I had a baked cake. You know, the, like somehow there's always like a little, whatever, two second, you know, whatever, two removed or six right. degrees, whatever, a separation or something like that. Yeah. yeah, there's always somebody that's had a baked cake, and it's like, it's crazy to me, because sometimes West Seattle can kind of seem like its own little entity, you know, you don't really think that we are out yeah. there, but like we are, and it's nuts. It still trips us out, even six, even after being on Cake Wars and six well, years later. Yeah, we don't. Like, yeah. According to my mom, we are. We're like, we should, they should name a street after us for kind well, of that. Well, Cake Wars didn't shoot you into celebrity status this podcast. Oh, yeah. 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 Right up there with the next step, you know, yeah. Cake Wars <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I think, too, kind of going back to your other question as far as, like, um, the second part maybe that you were going to ask as far as, like, the entrepreneurial. Going, you know, yeah, the oh. worst, like, going from that, like, right, telling. I, I, yeah, yeah, I think, I think I because I think with, within that story of, um, of just taking over the space, a lot of it was finding money. Loans were not easy to get because... They want you to have money in order to get money, but then 
can the get money of needing money so it, you know right. so it was a real challenge and and that was probably you know just having to find that so I mean like going forward for anybody else just you know like do your research ahead of time and know like you know what's out there because I think that was kind of a you know we just grew so fast and so we didn't expect to, to need it that fast too yeah. so having kind of a a real ahead plan just in case that sure. happened of course you know we were busy and we were growing but at the same time that just kind of was like oh, yeah you know a little we do uh what's the best advice that you've ever received um i think <laughs> dad <laughs> yeah my dad has always said he's kind of my mentor through this whole process um he's always said you know it's not just about pretty cakes it's about the whole picture you know um as far as you know customer service branding you know just just everything so it's not just about having a pretty cake but it's the quality of it and everything that comes around that sure. so mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's uh, some some sage wisdom there. Mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> i was i was cringing and watching you know, like shark tank or something like someone has a great product but they haven't done the business side of this get eaten alive right right yeah, yeah. it is it's so true <laughs> it's, though yeah yeah i mean yeah you can you can have an awesome product but if you don't have a plan or something to go forward then yep. it can sink is there a personal habit that you have that you believe contributes to your success? What do you mean by that? I don't know if it's that? a habit I necessarily. Guess, yeah. Like, whatever you want to make. Just like you mean just from growing like. Either something you know like a, just maybe a natural attribute or something okay. you've developed okay. that's helped you be successful in your business. Our artistic art ability, I guess. You know, not a lot of people can look at something with a theme and like you know create a cake around it. So we both can kind of you know. Well, Placement-wise, visually, color yeah. palette, stuff like that comes naturally <laughs> to us, whereas some people I feel like probably wouldn't. Well, and I feel like we both grew up, too, with just artistic backgrounds that from mm -hmm. a young age, just doing, you know, painting and um, Music. sculpting and, yeah, just kind of all of that incorporated that really, you know, it, it carries over to what we do with cakes, just a different medium. Uh, do you have a particular internet resource application you can't live without? Want to share with the listeners? Pinterest. 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 Okay. And Google. <laughs> yeah. I'd yeah. Imagine, yeah, something yeah. Like, Pinterest is great. Yeah. All around. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to hate it forever. <laughs> I tried. I don't do Facebook, social? you know, personally or anything like that. And I'm like, it's the lag. Can't. It's dumb. I don't want any part of it. But <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. It's All amazing. Right. Mm -hmm. If you could recommend just one book to our listeners, what would it be? <laughs> On the road. The old Kate, school, the Kerouac style. Yeah. Okay, okay. You know, embrace your. Sit just around, smoke a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. get out there, you know. <laughs> drive across the country and just, you know, experience life and, you know, yeah, don't say no to. I mean, yeah, I guess say no if you want, but, you know, be open to stuff and experiences and, yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorite books, but. The Giving Tree. I love that. Giving Tree. Classic, classic lesson. It's a classic. We're getting ready to uh, start my five year old on that one. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. We learn a lot about kids' uh, trends with oh, yeah. cakes that we don't know about uh, with what they what they request as far as the shows Cartoons. that are around that we, you know, like, sure. that are, you know, the ones we grew up with aren't so popular, which kind of sucks because they were really cool. Yeah. So. They need to bring back Thundercats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. yeah, We haven't done one yet. Maybe we can no. get yeah. your, yeah. your kids a five year old on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> to get them going on the, uh, the old school 80s cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> Share with us one parting piece of guidance. Um, I think teamwork is the biggest part of our success with everything that we've done. Not only just within ourselves, but within the staff that we have now. Um, and I think that's why we really try and promote cross training and everybody being respond you know being accountable for mostly everything um, you know obviously people have certain strengths um, but yeah I think teamwork just helping each other out having the ability to see when somebody needs help and just jumping in without somebody having to ask sure. um, I think is a huge thing yeah. and even like uh, yeah like deeper than that too on that same level though is in hiring people like not necessarily the most qualified but whoever you feel like you you're crew and everyone will vibe with yeah get along with because that's what really I feel like sets the tone for we work so close together as far as in the space that we're in and just with what we do so that's definitely one it's not like we're all in cubicles and sure. we don't talk like yeah we check in at the end yeah. of the week. Sure. and we're a women owned business and a women staffed business and not by that we have anything against sure. men why are you discriminating <laughs> yeah right please <laughs> no. No, don't put that <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Uh, no, that's that's great. What um, have you guys? I think that Jim Collins could be great. That book. Yes, I had actually yes. Read that and uh, I used to work for a Cupcake Royale. What was it? Demanded. Uh, good, good to, to great. great. I've heard, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's this is what you're saying kind of remind me of a, a part of that, which is basically saying that those good to great companies didn't hire the people that were most qualified. They hired the right people and then put them in the right slots. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't about the qualifications. About right. The, the totally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've got inter or, uh, resumes from people who've gone, you know, to Le Cordon Bleu and done the very specific. Like, the resume looks amazing, but they just didn't have that like. Yeah, that vibe that you want, you know, when you do have to deal with some, not deal with somebody, but work with somebody every day like that, I mean, yeah. Oh, it is a business, it's... Yeah, you want to have a... Right. Man's personality, yeah. Yeah, well, totally. just that, I mean, there's a lot of times we're not here, too, so just kind of having that trust factor, uh -huh. you know, that For they're sure. going to do the quality, the standards that we, you know, that we have, that we started with, that we want to continue on. Uh, we're not looking to franchise or have any, yeah. you know, other, like, this is... This is it. Bakes is two, two <laughs> point oh. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you brought that up. So, I mean, how's business going now? What is kind of the trajectory? Like, are you guys comfortable with where you're at? Is there plans for growth? Or? Um, I, I mean, we're pretty comfortable as far as like staffing and where we are. Um, now we're just, you know, just continuing to work on getting out there more. With, I mean. Weddings we do a lot of, but just kind of working to grow that some more. Um, I'd say uh, getting some some more relationships with, you know, always new vendors coming into the business. So kind of, you know, keeping, keeping up with that and not just, you know, letting it get stagnant and comfortable with who we already know. So, yeah. Where would you say most of your business comes from? Is this kind of word of mouth? Word of mouth. Um, Google. Yelp. Just a lot of, yeah, yeah. Yelp. Yeah, just and networking with mm -hmm. other industry folks, um, but yeah, and a lot of customers. We get a lot of customers from customers, you know, that that have been to a party that had a cake. Um, we just had a request for a lady that had a birthday cake, and she's getting married, and she's like, "I know your cakes are the best, so I'm coming here for your, for my wedding." So yeah, a lot of that. Yeah, sure. yeah. So if uh, any of my listeners are interested in connecting with you guys, what was the best way to do that? Um, email mm -hmm. is probably the best. Um, do you want me to say it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's baked.seattle at gmail.com. And through our website. So oh, did we say custombakedcakes.com? <laughs> Custom baked cakes? Yeah, that's the website. <laughs> and there's all the information on there. Our menu, um, kind of starting how we, the design process. Um, we don't have a basic price list because everything is custom. We do have some starting prices. Um, but yeah, we kind of, and you know, that I think one of the things too, um, kind of going back to with what you were talking about, making us a little unique from others is we do try and work with people's budgets. So if they come to us with an idea, um, and it's out of their budget, then we usually ask them, well, what, you know, are you looking to spend? And this is what we can do for you. Doesn't necessarily work out all the time, you know, mm -hmm. because we do have our prices that we have to, you know we have to keep within but you know but yeah but I mean we do definitely try and and, you know, and work with with people's different you know different budgets on what they want to do yeah. some people like to spend you know 500 on a one-year-old's cake and some people they want to spend 50 so yeah. it's just you know yep and uh, so so before I got into real estate I was uh, I did remodeling for 15 years I mean I understand like how the pricing goes for that but how do you how do you Price your cake. How does that work? Just like labor and materials? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have like I mean, base prices for, you know, if somebody just wants an eight inch round, we like we have a set price for that. And then after everything after that is basically just, you know, looking at, yeah, labor. It's time. The I mean, we have cost, cost mm -hmm. of goods, um, definitely <clears throat> as a starting factor. But uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's edible art, as we say. Well, I thank you both for uh, for your time. Um, thanks for being on, on the podcast. Yeah, thanks thank for you. having us. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, great. Feels so like Mark Maroney. So what? <laughs> Mark Maron. Oh yeah, yep. yeah. Stop transmission. And cut. <laughs> and cut. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sea Town Podcast on iTunes and leave me a review. If you have any suggestions or feedback for me or uh, would like to be a guest on my podcast, you can email me at christianharris at ctown.com. That's c-town.com. See you next week.